Hey guys, Left Dave, um, coming at you with a tutorial on how to do light flares and, like, bumps on the bass. So first of all, I'm not, in this video, I'm not trying to, like, line up all my clips perfectly. I'm just going to show you how to do that bump and how to do, like, the light flare. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do the light flare on all the snares and I've got all the snares like the main snares uh, markered right now and I've got the first the first shot lined up so you should know how to do that that's pretty easy you just trim the audio to when he hits the first shot and then to place one of these markers first of all you want to find where each of your snares are your kicks and then you press the M button to place a marker and then you press enter because this is putting a name tag in so you press enter and I don't want this so I'm going to right click and delete it so I've got all my snares put out and I want to put light flares on all those snares so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the video effects tab bump map upper right glow drag that onto your your video and then this will pop up right here. What you're going to want to do with this is turn the shineness down all the way, the bump height down all the way. And now as you can see, my clip looks a lot darker than normal. So I'm going to pull this up to like 503. 500 is the regular, but I normally just put it at 503 cuz it's just that's what it automatically goes to when you're using this thing like 503. And so this is your intensity, how hard you want the glow to be. I usually use it about around there, maybe. So now that you have it here, under intensity, you want to click the little clock right here. That's to animate it. So then you'll get this. Now what you want to do is click on your marker, your first marker on your snare. Press the plus button. The next one, plus button. Next one, plus button. Just keep adding those. So here, I'll just finish doing this. And sorry about, uh, I sound a little messed up right now. I have a head cold. So. <clears throat> um, okay, so now that you have that all done, you're not finished. What you want to do is click. I, I started the back for some reason, but it's just personal preference. You click on your marker. You press your left arrow to go over one frame backwards. So I'm one frame backwards. Then you turn the intensity down, and then you click the next one. Go one frame backwards. Turns the intens turn the intensity down. So you're just gonna keep doing that, and that'll make it so that, like it pops up right on that beat. Okay, there we go. So now let's give this a watch. UAV awaiting so that looks pretty good. Oh shit. What is going on? Okay. Now we want to put in the bumps. So I'm just going to get rid of, the, rid of all these just to get rid of confusion. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on my bases. I'll show you sort of how I do this, and then I'll speed it up after I show you how I do it. So normally I listen to the song, I find out where the bases are, and then I sort of I play the song and then press the M's where the hits are. It makes it a lot faster, so I'm just going to listen up to this. Okay, yeah, I know where they are. So I'm going to, you need sort of rhythm. You need rhythm to be able to do this. Or you can just go through, find out where they are. 
press on it, then press your marker key, which is M. But I'm not going to do that. This is a lot faster. So, here I go. If this could play. And that's all of them there. That's only six, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so this one, what you want to do for this is you're going to go to your video track. And you see this little crop thing right here. Got that little crop thing. Now click that, and it'll pull this up. And now, um, it should come up with this animation thing on the bottom. If it doesn't, then I don't know. But you're going to want to click this sync cursor thing also and go to properties and disable resample forgot to do that that doesn't matter though you don't have to do that so once you're here by pressing this little icon on your video track you want to click on your first marker and if you just want to bump like a small little bump you're just going to drag it in a little bit if you want a big bump you're going to drag it in a lot if you want it to curve you're going to bump it in and then curve it like that so what I'm gonna do is think for the first two I'll make it go like left right sort of thing so I'll go like this to the left a bit and if I keep going you'll see right here that there's black bars there but I have something that can make your video look a lot better and that can fix that so I have this I'm gonna go to my next one and I'm going to change this one to what I want it to be. So I want it to be like this. So that's good. And then the, these ones I just want to be normal bumps. So I'm just going to put them in a bit like that. And then I can go to the next one. And this is already here. So I can just press the plus button to set the exact same one. Plus. Plus. Now what you want to do is do sort of the same thing that you did with the light effects. So you want to go click on this. Go back one, and then right click on this and press restore. So you're gonna go here, back on frame, right click, restore. Just keep doing this. And there you go, you should have some, some nice hits. So there you go and also another thing is as you can see on this last hit it doesn't sort of pull back it just kind of stays where it went UAV it come back. what you want to do to fix that is you're going to go to your crop you're just going to make you're just going to go here around anywhere you make an icon by pressing the plus button and then you're just going to restore it so then as you can see now it'll UAV so yeah, I think that's, that's it. I'll show you it one more time. UAV awaiting order. And for if you want, like, really large bumps with, like, the curve on it, and it's showing those black bars and you don't want them, what I would recommend doing, like, even if you don't want to do that, I'd recommend getting one of these anyways. It's just a picture of black bars it's a png image you're going to drag it in and then take your video layer and make sure it's on the top or above your video so now as you can see i have this and it looks a lot better UAV and if you feel like those are too big and it's like maybe blocking something right here. Like I know in CS, I sometimes have to CS. I sometimes have to make these smaller so you can see the the kills up here. So what you want to do to do that is select your black bar layer, click the crop, and then bring it out or no in, like so, and it'll make the black bar smaller. And, oh shit! You're gonna want your cursor in the beginning because we have it on animate right now so you're just going to zoom in a bit there you go
obviously on this one I don't have any velocity so like all the gunshots don't hit perfectly at the timing of the base only the first one but thanks for watching if this video helped you please comment letting me know that you enjoyed the video and it helped you and please like and subscribe